Good evening and welcome back. Today I show you another Anning multimeter DMM. It's the AN8008. Um, I already show you the 8002 in this nice blue little case and I quite like it. It was good enough. It was cheap, about 12 um, bucks, 12 euro. And it has all functions I need. And I published it a few days ago and I made it a few weeks ago and uh, last time I see Dave Jones also get an unnamed multimeter and tested it um, so I thought oh I also made a video I should put it on and yeah I put it on but he tested the AN8008 and he was quite impressed by it by the price and by the functions and then he have this he really has this thing to so test it out and how precise it is and it was quite good and so I guess I should also get the AN8008 and I will compare this two again so the AN8002 and the AN8008 I really don't try to pronounce Anning even my wife is Chinese I have no idea how to pronounce it um, the difference between these two is, yeah, we'll see later go ahead with the things what comes in the box the multimeter itself just put it there the really bad smelling pouch um, I don't know why Dave Jones doesn't mention it. maybe they sent him a special bag that doesn't smell my bag smells terrible so it goes somewhere else then they have those test leads where you can screw in things mm, doesn't look so good go ahead and the probes so no one knows the quality about it. Um, Dave Jones also doesn't open it, doesn't cut it. I should have two of it now, but I don't want to cut it. So in a video after this one, so in a few minutes, I will show you how you can check the quality or not on the quality, not totally of the plastic or the out of the isolation, but how you can check the resistance a little bit better to see if it is an good material, good copper or thick copper or if it is only like a very thin something something like like this you can't see try to put 10 amp over it and you will have a burning disaster so this you can check without cutting it and this I will show you in the next video oh by the way my printer make noise so um, something I have to mention is yes I buy the multimeter I didn't get it free uh, it is not a free preview or free something something from Banggood. I buy also this one. I don't get them for free. Um, but I get some money back if you use my link to order a product from Banggood. So I can get a little bit money for my hobby to buy more things from these crazy Chinese shops. Um, yeah, In Germany I can make one year money and only buy one piece because everything is quite expensive here. <laughs> So, what else should I show? Yeah, just put them like this. And you can see a little bit of difference between those two. The AN828002 uh, has um, the Celsius and Fahrenheit setting here. It can measure the temperature with the temperature probe. The AN8008 doesn't have it. It has a signal gen. I think it goes up to 5 kilohertz, you know, if I remember. And the rest is almost the same, except this. The 8008 has a microamp range. The AN8002 not. So, but I don't have many things that is in microamps. So it doesn't matter for me. Um, it has the volt, millivolt um, resistance. We call it ohm. Yes, um, diode check, capacity, capacity, and continuity, frequency measurement, amp and milliamp, and um, yeah, that's all. Um, Bose has fuse, so and the inside looks both the same, to be honest. The one Dave Jones opened, and I opened the blue one, the greenish blue. So, and just have really this very small fuses. I'm wondering that Dave Jones doesn't say more about this small tiny fuses. I think he will get shocked and throw it away because of the small fuses, but he doesn't do. So it seems to be not so bad. Um, 
yeah what should i show now yeah we just i just want to show you something about the benefit of a 9999 counts compared with 6000 counts because that is the special part on this that this has the 9999 counts so if i pair something already i put in some leads in my um, power supply in my bench power supply put this there and put this here and then the video will be almost over i said both to what because there i can show it the best i switch on the power supply it gets a little bit noisy maybe i zoom in i should zoom in a little bit i tried so hard with the lightning but i was not so lucky with my lightning here i switch it on and both should show almost the same uh, you see it different so i think this is better maybe maybe this is more precise than this that is just the one dave jones tested so this should be very precise he used this very expensive things to test it so but that is not what i want to show you see both show four digits both has the least significant bit byte bit oh that is something from electronic but i think digit is um a value of one millivolt because this is one one volt 600 millivolt 20 millivolt 2 millivolt and this um, has also the four digits but if i switch now to something over fix put it there program it there then the an8008 shows 9.324 it still shows the four digits it still is capable of showing one millivolt so in this case four millivolt the an8002 starts now with the leading zero it changed the decimal point the dot and shows 9.30 because it is not able to put a 9 there it can only put a 6 there so 9.30 so if i switch to about 15 volt you have the same on both okay not the same amount not the same result but we have 1527 1523 we have the same four digits used we have 100 millivolt resolution for the last digit and then we go down in the voltage switch it on here i dial in about 74 um, millivolt that is what i dial in so here as you see this is showing millivolt 742.5 and here 0 0.741 you're also missing one uh, digit here because it is not capable of showing the seven at the first position so i can switch it back a little bit okay that is something like we call it murphy's law i sure i think it should be switching there but ah, i know why yeah this one has something weird with the millivolt that is something I want to find out. Yeah, okay. That is maybe not the best idea I have to go to this. So um, you don't see this, just ignore it. It's I don't make outtakes. I just make it at one really large file and I upload it with no editing. So sorry for this, but you still see the difference. So um, that's what I like on it. What else should I show from the AN8002? I think nothing else. Um, oh no, we have the signal signal jam. I want to see what it does. So just unplug this. Goes there. Unplug this. Goes there. Switch it off. Goes there. This also be switched off. I bring in the oscilloscope. Don't worry, this is not an oscilloscope, but I need it. Put this there. Switch it on. Yeah, it is one of this DSO 138 and finally I have something really I can do with it. So, oh, if I find the something something. I need this to plug in here. Uh, maybe I should put this there and this there. This direction is better. Oh, and then it sounds someone is visiting me. My daughter, okay, there I have to make a break, sorry. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, my little daughter just climbed up the stairs and arrived here. So she's playing in her corner now with the AN8002. Maybe she liked the blue one. Uh, I give it to her with some cords. So maybe she make it beep. No, she's using the amp slot. Oh, I hope she doesn't do something bad. No, she cannot do something bad there. So I set it up. This is the one of those DSO one three three eight. Um, I zoom in a little bit. Maybe I can put it together like this, so you have a little bit better view. Uh, why I use this? This fits under the camera. The Sigland doesn't fit there. Yeah, you, here I have a Sigland. I don't even have a Rigel. So I really, you really need to use my links to buy products from Banggood, so I can get some better things. So. Oh, I show you. I'm just doing the connection. Yes, yeah, 50 hertz. Um, I think there was a trick. You can see I didn't use it a long time. Going somewhere. No, this was not the right one. There was a way to show. Um, the parameters of this. What it measure? No. Oh, I forgot. Ah, there. Yes. Oh, not sure if you can see it on the screen. Yeah, you should see it on the screen. It says 50 hertz. Yeah, that's what we set up. And when you want to change, you press here. 100 hertz. Oh, I put it on hold. So, running. 100 hertz. And again, 200. 300. Oh, here it says 300. But this is self built. 400, 500, uh, let me see if I can change the time base of this, yeah I can, yes, yeah, so you see it's putting out, it's getting out the things and 1000, not too bad, I think 2000, yeah we are going to 2000, 2000, 3000, Oh yeah, I think now we are going close to the one, to the things the cheap DSO can handle. Oh, you see, handmade. I uh, yeah, I try something to laser engraving, mm, but was not so successful. So still work. Looks a little bit weird, but I think this is this oscilloscope, not a meter. We have five kilohertz, five thousand hertz. Yes, and now it goes back to 50. And here we have to change the time base again in the other direction. Uh, well, I should use this. I should write something on the buttons. So, yeah, it works. Um, I think it's not bad to have a very sick. To be honest, I have no idea why I need a signal gen in a multimeter. Uh, especially, it only puts out some. Square waves, nothing else. Um, what else can we show? Yes, it has again backlight. Yeah. Why my Unity doesn't have backlight? So I don't know. I show you the 9999 counts. I really think it's a good feature, especially for the price. I pay about 15 euro, 14 something something for it. At the moment it is about 22, 23 um, US dollars. So it's 18, 19 euro shipping. Um, yeah, we're including shipping, so you don't need to pay for the shipping extra for the shipping. Um, it comes with the leads, and after this video, yeah, I already say bye bye. We will see a video with checking the leads. So just checking what my daughter is doing. Yeah, yeah. maybe I should just give you a short view of my daughter so about the room. So there she is in her corner. Hello, Sophia. Say hello to our guests. Okay, so you see she is all two years old and already playing with electronic. Okay, bye-bye. See you in the next video with